I got you now, Batman. Oh no, it's the mummy. No, my name is Hush. No, you Hush. I bet you there's a pretty face underneath there. And I thought the Joker's jokes were bad. What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Batman Arkham City DC Direct Hush Series 2 Collector Action Figure. First off, I want to thank Past Generation Toys for sending this out to review for you guys. You can get all your Batman Arkham City uh, figures at pastgentoys.com. So let's take a closer look at the packaging. So you can see here it is shaped in a standard Batman Arkham Asylum City packaging with Batman Arkham City in the background. Uh, shows Hush with his guns right there. Batman Arkham City Hush Series 2 Collector Action Figure. And on the back shows all the figures in uh, Wave 2. The Riddler, Catwoman, Batman, Detective Mode variant. Hush, of course, and the Mad Hatter. As well as a little bio about Arkham City. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. It's time to review this action figure. And here we got Hush out of the box. Looking very awesome. So let's take a closer look at the figure. DC Direct is all, or DC Collectibles now, is known for... All Always having great detail on their figures. That head sculpt is really cool. His teeth look like they have a little bit of red in them. I don't know if he just got punched by Batman. The eyes look uh, definitely scary. The bandages have like a dirty, worn feeling, which I like. The coat is really cool. The paint apps on here are really spectacular. And um, like he has this hush symbol right there. The outfit is really cool. I really like. The, the Arkham City look of Hush. His gloves are really cool. He has holsters for his guns, which I'll show here in a bit. The pants. Um, I really like the leg armor. Kind of reminds me of Gambit in a way. It's very cool. I really like it. He doesn't have any hole pegs, which kind of sucks, which I'll get into. Yeah, the coat here is made of this rubbery plastic, you know, that DC Direct is known for using for especially for co coats. The coat, you could remove it if um, well, it, it's really hard. You would really pretty much destroy the figure, so I wouldn't recommend it. Plus, you would have the brown arms, and that would be kind of looking weird. But overall, like I said, I really like the look of Hush. Articulation, Hush's head can fully rotate, as well as go up and down. His arms fully rotate. They do go in and out. They bend at the elbow, as well as rotate at the elbow. Rotate at the wrists. Uh, yep, you see there. There is no waist or upper ab articulation, which is a little disappointing for sure. Legs go forward this much. They do go back a little bit. It does have upper leg articulation, which is good. Um, a bend at the knee, like I said. And his ankles, unfortunately, because of the leg armor, they don't pivot. So the articulation is very limited. You're just going to have a standing pose for him. Hush comes with two pistols, which look very nicely detailed on both of them. Uh, like I said, he has the holsters for them, which I really do like. And he does have um, pistol hands to hold both of them. He holds them very nicely and stuff. One accessory I wish he did come with, which is stand. Like I said, there's no pick holes. He will stand really good on his own. Like I said, you won't really be able to do any dynamic poses minus stuff you can do with the arms, but it, it kind of sucks, but it's okay, I guess. Give me your face, Batman. You wanted it? Here it is. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. uh, never mind. I think I'd rather look like Two Face. Size comparison time. So here you can see Hush is in scale with the other Arkham Asylum City figures, like the Series 1 Unmasked Batman. Uh, even with the Mattel Arkham City figures, he works pretty well in scale. Uh, he's not too tall for them. He is taller than other sta standard section figures like the Extremist Iron Man figure. Now, Batman Hush is one of my favorite comic book stories. The Jim Lee artwork, I absolutely love that. Um, I love Hush. Uh, he's in Batman Arkham City. He's a great character. I like his side mission. I really would have loved if this figure came with a variant or an extra head that has the Bruce Wayne scarred up head. That would have been awesome. And I do wish that this figure had some more articulation, but that's how DC Direct slash DC Collectibles are. I wish that they had more hip articulation. Like the Mattel figures, I do like more so than the DC Direct Collectibles figures. But the figure, uh, if you don't mind it just being a standing pose, looks great on the shelf. I do love the guns. I wish he did came with a stand, but he does stand pretty good on its own. Like I said, I really do like this figure, and it is worthy to have in your Batman Rogues Gallery with your other Arkham City Asylum figures. And you can get um, any uh, these figures, like this figure or Batman Arkham Asylum City figures at pastgentoys.com. Thank you to Past Generation Toys for sending out this figure. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed their view. 
And for more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Subway Trinum, and a big way. Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! I tell you go! Go down! Elliot! Elliot! Ouch! Stop it, E.T. I don't need fixing. Ouch! Don't make me shoot you. Ooh, a piece of candy.